Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to explore paste options in Excel to boost your productivity. If you are a beginner, then this video can be really helpful in your Excel learning journey. Normally, if you copy something you expect it to be the same when you paste it anywhere in Excel, then that's not usually the case when you have formulas and formatting in your data. For example, we have a set of data that contains number of units sold by employees in the month of June, July and August. Let us select this table and copy the data by pressing Ctrl C. Like this and Ctrl C. Now let's say we want to paste this data anywhere in Excel, maybe in summary sheet. So let's open the summary sheet and click anywhere you want your table to start from and click Ctrl V. So this will paste your data. This got done pretty well. Let me adjust the column width so that we can see all the data. You can do it manually by adjusting the column width uh, like this, the ancient and less productive way. Or what you can do is just select all the data. First, let me do Control Z. Just select all this data and press Alt H O I. As you can see, it auto fits column width to the length of text inside the cell. Interesting, right? Now let's open the percentage sheet. Here we have a table that shows total units sold and target the G. As you can see, there are some formulas applied to this data. Don't worry about the formulas as we are going to discuss them later in our upcoming videos. Let's select this data by clicking Ctrl A. Right? As you can see, it selected only the relevant cells which has data in. Now copy the data by pressing Ctrl C. Open the summary sheet and paste the data wherever you want. Okay, just select the cell where you want to paste the data and press Ctrl V. Okay, so well that's not right. This is not what we wanted. Instead of our data, we're getting zeros in the column. Unit sold and target achieved. So how do we bring our numbers back? There are a couple of different ways to do this, but first let's undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. Our data is already copied. As you can see under the home tab, there is a paste option and just below that, there is a small drop down arrow. If you click this arrow, you can see multiple paste options, right? We're going to go through the important ones in this video and see what they do. Now with the data copied, select any cell and click on the paste value option. This one. As you can see, the data just got converted to values with the formulas and formatting removed. So this option can be very useful when you want to paste only the values from your data. Now let's take another paste option. You can see this icon with a notepad, brush and a percentage sign on it. If I hover over it for a second, it is called as formatting. Okay, so what we, what we have is, we have values in one table and we're going to do this. We'll click on the formatting. So we have formatting in another. But what we actually want is, we want them both together. Right, so we're just going to select this values table, correct, and press on formatting. And there you have it, the table with correct data and formatting. There are also other ways in which you can obtain the similar result. Let's say you wanted to use this table in a PowerPoint presentation word doc. It would be much better to have this data as an image. So Excel does give us an option to convert our data table into an image. Okay. So we'll just clear this first, right? And select the data you want, which, which is this. Copy it, come to the summary sheet. Once again, click on this drop down arrow under the paste option, right? You can see that there is an icon with a notepad and an image. Click on that and there you go, our data table converted to an image. We can copy this image, send it to your boss on WhatsApp or use it in another documents. Right, just play around it. Hope you have understood what I have been doing today. There is another paste option which I would like to tell you all and it can save a lot of your time when you're working on huge data. This employee data which is arranged in a row that is vertically now for some reason you want this data horizontal. If you type or copy this data one by one it will take some time. Hence we are going to use this transpose option what it does is, it converts the row data into column data. So let's select these two columns, which is list of employees and target, and copy them. And now select 
wherever you want to paste this data and come to the drop down arrow and once you see this this particular icon which is notepad and rows and columns interchanged just select on it there you go the rows got converted to columns and vice versa so this saves a lot of time instead of you manually typing this list again and again and again you can use this transpose option there is another way of pasting data as values formulas and formatting the ones which i and many other professionals use if you press alt e s sequentially then a paste special dialog box opens up and you will see multiple options but we are going to look the ones which are most used now we will just see first if our data is selected and copied well guess it is so we'll open the summary sheet with the data copied click anywhere you want to paste the data and press alt e s and if you want to paste it as value just select values and press enter right the data just got pasted as values again if you press alt e s and select formats and press enter the formatting also gets applied to the data so once you get used to this then you can do these paste operations very quickly now Here in sales summary table, the values of percentages in target achieved by employees are highlighted by different colors. What do you think? Are the colors applied randomly to the data? What if we change the value in cell? Let's click on the cell E18, right, and change its value to 85%, right, and press enter. Exactly, as you can see, the formatting also changes. So the formatting of these cells depends on the values inside the cell. This is an example of condition formatting. If you want to learn more about condition formatting, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bell because our next video is going to be a detailed information of how to use condition formatting in your data. Right? Stay tuned for more.